Hello and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today we're doing technical analysis on another stock that just launched three days ago, but the price has skyrocketed. And we're going to find out whether this is, you know, to the moon or this is going to stay here and is going to be here for a while. So before I get into the technical analysis, as you can see on my screen, I already drew up the charts. So we're going to go into different um, indicators like support and resistance, MACD, res uh, RSI, Scotch RSI, and then we're going to look at the market cap. So before I get into the depth of this technical analysis, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I would hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And I will be making more videos like this. I'll be finding stocks every day. And my main objective here is to find good stocks that are cheaper. But this is noteworthy because there's a news catalyst out there right now. And this stock is booming. I just want to put it out there. So, you, you know, if somebody's in the market for a stock that is relatively in a higher side, and, and they're interested, I can see my technical analysis on that. Before we get into the technical analysis, let's look at the market cap. Market cap for this stock is $4.3 All right good market cap this is very good and they traded um 12 million 12.3 million shares um you know in the last three days right so this volume is is actually daily um and we could we can hold that true like if you hover over the candles today they traded um the last candle they traded the last 30 minutes they traded it's uh 728 uh thousand Shares were traded in the last 30 minutes before the market closed. All right, so let's look at the uh, the support and resistance and see where we stand and whether this is something that, you know, is a good entry point for you or not. So very first thing, I drew up the, uh, you know, where it took off, right? It took off on the 16th. We actually took off today at 10 o'clock. I went down to $18, $20, and then it took off. It broke the resistance that it had, uh, went down to 57 that it had a higher highs. And 108, and then after that, it dropped to 74. It's created a W. When there's a when there's a W, right? When there's W shape, generally, out of my experience, the stock usually takes off, right? However, um, that's not something you know set in stone that because it made a W shape is definitely going to go up. That's generally what I've seen with different stocks, uh, different um, charts when when we do technical analysis, right? So, so if if somebody was looking at this, right, and they would they would have the resistance as 108. The support will be seventy four dollars, right? And we'll see whether the price fluctuates between that or not. After that, um, moving averages. You know, we already know. You know, it's going up. You have twenty candles, and you have fifty candles, and you have two hundred candles. Looking like you know, we, we can see that is going up. So moving averages. You know, on an average price, the way the stock from last three days is is forty four dollars for twenty candles. That's what they're averaging. You know, with the spike back and forth, and 50, it's averaging about $24, and 200 is averaging about $13, right? So what these moving averages tell you is that this stock could be a temporary spike, and then it's going to go down. So right now, moving averages are not, you know, up there. Um, they're still on the 40s. In the last 20 candles, is 44, and then, you know, 34, and so forth. After MACD, we're going to add the RSI, which is your relative strength index. So what is driving the price, right? So usually it's the... When um, when a lot of people buy the stock, right, the RSI goes beyond 70. When the RSI goes beyond 70, you already know that people are buying the stock, you know, immediately, left and right, right? So there's a news catalyst out there, positive. People feel this stock is, you know, making good money. So right now it's above 70. Usually what happens is when you already have a stock that is, you know, been there for a while, you know, and, and today has been there over, over 70. Out of my experience, uh, you know, usually... That's not a, uh, to me, the only indicator would be like, okay, if you look at the MACD, MACD is above signal line, which is another moving average indicator, conversion, diversion. Uh, when it crosses the signal line and the RSI is above 70, now you really got to see your support and resistance and see whether this crosses 108. If it crosses, if it, because what happens is this is your resistance, right? Think of it like a ceiling, right? When you hit that, a lot of stop losses, things like that would hit. And it would go down again. When it hit that, a lot of people want to buy it at this price. So it would go back again. So it would bounce back and forth, back and forth. When it crosses that and your MACD is up, your resistant RSI, when it crosses, when it's going upward, your RSI should be showing some strength, which is not above 70. It should be coming from like 30, 30s above, 30 and above, right? Because this, then what happened is it sort of guarantees you that, okay, it's moving up, RSI is picking up. Then you rest assured that when it crosses 70, RSI crosses 70, and this goes up, 
you could set your stop losses at that point. You know, hopefully that's kind of clear to you guys. So, so basically right now as an entry point, I would wait and see what happens to the stock tomorrow. To me, it looks like our resistance is 108, $108. And our support is $74. If it goes below the support, you already know it's going to fall. And when you see it start picking back up, you can make, you know, you make a move and make some money on that. But if it crosses the resistance, you already know it's going to go a little higher than because when it crosses this resistance, it's going to go. That's become that's going to become your new support. And and after that, whatever it stops is going to become your new resistance. So right now, good stock, good position. Um, but but at the same time, this is very new. Uh, there's all there's a lot of hype on it. Right. So I would wait and see what happens tomorrow. But again, if it crosses Below 74, you already know it, it dropped below the support and you you might want to wait and let it free fall. And then the next support it has is at $34 and this will be your resistance. So if you buy it at $34, rest assured you're going to make that you know money. But again, this is all speculations, all technical analysis. But if there's a news, news catalyst that is showing you a positive, then the technical analysis will hold true. If there's a news catalyst is telling you that, okay, there's there's a crash, there's a recession, things like that, the technical analysis go out the window and you might, you might want to stick to the news at that point. But for my technical analysis, again, I'm not a financial advisor. I feel that if it goes below 74, it's going to hit 34. And when it hit 34, you know, you can you could get it anywhere between, you know, 74 and 34 and it's going to definitely go back up. It's going to hit that resistance again. So, again, this was my quick review on this new stock that I just launched. And I just want to bring it up to you, uh, to your attention. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, if you find anything informative, please do hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'll be making more videos like this and coming up with the analogy and where we should get in and get out. So, yep. See you guys later.